All right, so this one takes a generic parameter t, which is like a tuple, or you could think of it like an array, and returns the last element. So here we see abc is passed in, and the last element is c, so what this tail1 type will be equal is c. So where would you start with this? Here, I know, I know what you're going to do. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, there. I read your mind. Did I read Well, I wouldn't have uh, had the typo, though. I would have spelled unknown. Oh, you would. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I can't spell. Close. I'm That's not good at the English thing. Give me a break. All right. Where would you start with this? Um. So, I guess T extends. And I think that lets me use inference where I can say, mm -hmm. yep. am I able to spread the beginning and then grab the last? Maybe. Yeah, and definitely. Then, the only thing is you have to add uh, you have to add infer, oh, infer. Here. Otherwise you're great. So this gives me head is an array of everything in the front, tail is the last, and then that lets me return tail and then never if that's not true. Boom. Wow, great. Yeah, that's the that's the main way to do it. There's another funny thing you can do. You can put um, you don't have to use the infer keyword here, you can use any. I don't think you can use, uh, let's see if I can spell it right this time. You can't use unknown in that situation. You can use unknown if it's like a, a, a single value, but any has to be spread here. Maybe uh, maybe that works. Yeah, okay. So you can use unknown array as well. So that's just another kind of variation on the same theme. Um, I looked around for ways that other people have solved this, and this one here was the only one, uh, only other one I found. So kind of similar, but it's it's a little tricky. So it's saying like uh, it's making an array. You see, wait, you tell it's me. One this longer. Is, it's it's so kind of clever. So it's because arrays are zero based. Mm -hmm. So if you take the length, you can't do that. I mean, you could try to do length minus one, but maybe you can't do but that. You can't do that. Script. So you have to make the array one longer so <laughs> that the length. Yes. Yeah, that's. That's super happy. Isn't that? Okay. <laughs> I was in love when I saw this. This was like the most beautiful TypeScript I have seen. It's so tricky and so horrific. And my 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 teammates would hate me if I put in code like this. But it it definitely has a certain logic to it and it works. And you were able to figure it out in two seconds upon seeing it. Um, don't ever write code like this, people. Okay. Uh, but this is really an interesting way to solve that problem. Like you said, you if you did uh, if you did T just to show. It would fail because length is one based and here let's let's show that it fails instead of speculating so you see here they're undefined always because the last thing uh the the length is one more and you can't say like length minus one doesn't that's there's no way in typescript well there is actually but it's like crazy generics to make that work there's not an easy way in typescript to make that happen so and also you'd still have a case too of if you had like an empty array, then it's going to be trying to get like the negative one if item, and it's going to be unknown. Right, which is also so why this is case. brilliant because if you have an empty array here, that is one of the values. If you have an empty array, so it's, it's not arbitrary that they put never here. If you put um, unknown or something else, uh, let's go back to having this one work. Then this third case fails with the empty array. So that's why it was never clever, isn't it? I don't know. I like it. I hate it, though. <laughs> uh, any other thoughts? I'd be okay with that in a code base as long as there's a comment above it. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, calling it last actually sort of helps a little bit, I suppose. But actually, I loathe ternaries so much that I actually almost like the second one more. Really? Welcome to the dark I side. Hate, I really don't like ternaries. 